Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, and thanks for stopping by. Today I wanted to introduce you guys to a software that I recently started using um, and it's called Smart Albums. I uh, will put a link below and uh, it's an album making software that is really great. Um, I have struggled in the past making albums. I have actually kind of stayed away from making albums for clients. Uh, you know, th there's always the option to send it to some companies who make them for you or or some of this software that is less than optimal that I kind of messed around with it, which was too complicated. Um, so I saw this, uh, a couple of photographers mentioning this software and they seem to really uh, enjoy it and, and, and and be very find it very useful. So, um, so I going to do a little sample video of what it's about. I'll give you guys some some of the input in it. I used it for the very first time last night. Literally, I just jumped right in and I created an album. It took me a little bit over an hour um, with some changes of photos and looking for a couple of things outside of the software that I wasn't really fully prepared for. So I think once the workflow is 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 more uh, is is more solid. And uh, your preparation is is uh, is better as as be before you actually go into the software. I think you're gonna find that this software is 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 really an incredible um, tool. So you know, uh, let's check it out. Okay, so it's uh, from a company called uh, Pixelu. I think that's how you say it. And they they have a free trial. Um, you can download it's a full trial, 30 days, you know, no watermarks, no, no fuss, anything like that. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, I think it goes for about 250 or something like that for the software, but um, once you see, you know, some of the examples I'm going to give you, uh, hopefully you'll see where the investment uh, is, is uh, you know, it's worth it. Um, also, they have a couple of trial like videos and things like that. I literally went into the five minute video and that's what I used to create to just jump right in it yesterday and as you go along you'll see that it gives you like little uh, tips and things like that I'm not sure if it's gonna give it to me today because I'm, I'm, I'm I, I used it before but it, it should alright so you go to create a new project uh, it has uh, pretty much every company you can possibly need um, I haven't really look for anyone I haven't seen anyone that I that is not there except for artifact uprising I don't think they have it in here so maybe you know we can give a shout out to them and uh, tell them to just go ahead and throw it in there so you can pick the size here and you can um, make uh, the, the selections for those particular companies they'll give you all the options um, and you click next you could always do custom obviously and here you have the option to use all the templates that they have available squares you know uh, uh, portraits landscapes everything in between so or you can just go for uh, without square frames or you can go for three by twos ratio you can also set the borders and the gaps you can also adjust that later as well if you want and you press Start. Actually, wait. Let's go back to all templates and start. You call it project. Let's call it YouTube um, Smart Albums. All right. Once it creates, it'll give you this, and pretty much you can go to your folder where you have all the images to use for your album, and you can drag them into this area. Now. These images are adding quite fast. Uh, the following images are too long resolution. Um, oh, because I'm dragging the actual files that I did yesterday. Let's remove them. I selected them. I press delete. Sorry, selected the wrong folder. Here it is. Okay, and there they go. So these are 232 files. Uh, Pretty, pretty high res. Uh, they're all, you know, from five to eight, uh, 10 gigabyte, 10 megabytes. So these are fairly chunky files. Uh, full res at 16 inches um, the, the long. 
So more than big enough for something for a job like this or for a bigger album. So I didn't even bother making him, you know, a smaller in any way. So it works quite fast with the with the uploading with the previewing, which is great. You can also adjust it here to to use or unuse uh, files, um, and you can import more images here if you need to. Now. Here is where the cool stuff happens. Um, you just drop stuff right into it. So technically you will go for your details. Let's say this is what we're gonna do. You can select whatever you want. Now, if you are a little bit more organized, you can definitely save time. If you bring all the sections here, you can literally add them and create them your, you know, in the, by individual pages automatically and then just Retweak them as you go, but this is the more like beginner level sort of sort of sort of way to go about it. And as soon as you just uh, select them and grab them and drop them, it they will lay them out. Now you have the option to click here uh, to change the layout to something else, and or you can use the keys on your keyboard, the up and down arrows, which is what I'm doing right now. So. You got, you got pretty much the options. And if you go up and change one, you're gonna go back, just go back down. So just one up, one down. And um, the other thing you can do is if you want to switch uh, some of the images, you can just hold it and drag it. Now, when you drag it and you get this little red sign, it will give you a little, a little sign of what to do. But if you press Command on your keyboard, it will force drop it. The reason it's, it's, it's fighting the drop is because um, of the direction of the image is a it's a landscape frame uh, versus uh, you know a, um, a a portrait uh, formatted image. If you want, you can select that image and you can adjust it here on the right, so you can move it up and down to select what parts you you want. Um, so as you can see, this is this is quite awesome and and easy to do. Um, now, what else you can do is you can go ahead and, for example, let's try it pretty simply here like this. So you grab this, you can actually drop them right here. So you can kind of create these pages as you go. And this is what I'm saying. If you had everything set how you wanted it, you could just go like that. And just uh, know, if, if you know exactly what pages we're going to go in, in each, what images we're going to go in each page, you can just drop them on the timeline down here, basically. So. Um, with the with the arrow with the right and left arrow keys, you can just go between uh, pages, and with the up and down, you can switch the the layout, obviously. So, if you want, for example, to switch uh, pages, you can just drag this little bar up here and move it over. So, if this you wanted this to be the first page, you just drag it over to the very first page. Now the cool thing, this is Mac base. I don't think they have it available for for Microsoft Windows, but you can just Command Z everything. Like you can Command C a lot. Look, I'm going back all the way here, Command C all the way up to the beginning, even to the to the first drop of the wrong files, and I can uh, Option Command it, Shift Command it, Shift Command C to go forward. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a really great thing. Now, if you press the arrow key, nothing's happening. It's because you technically have something else selected. So just select, select the the window up, up there. Here. Select the window, and you should be able to go. All right. Now, what else am I missing here um, that I haven't gone over? Now, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really a simple piece of software. Oh, I know exactly what I didn't show you that I learned yesterday. So, for example, you got too many images in one page like this, and you want to sort of split them. You can just go ahead and select on the timeline, shift, shift it, and select all the images you want, and just drop into the next page, and it splits it. So, he does it like that, which is pretty neat. Uh, the other thing you can do is, for example, yesterday I forgot a page. Let's say I'm missing a page and I want to put it in between something. I just drag it and drop it in between. You're going to see the little the little lines. That's not going to give me the line anymore because it's the same images. But you see the lines right there? The dots? The lines, the dots. 
um, you will insert that page in between pages. Um, the only limitations I saw uh, that I'm still kind of still learning, maybe I just haven't seen the, the, the area for it, is uh, the inability to inverse an image. There was an image that I wanted to have you know, vertically invert, and I had to go back and export it again and re-import it um, so I could use it the other way because the, the spine was coming right through it, so I, I didn't want that. Um, besides that, you can actually use this little this little um, uh, buttons up here, this, this icons up here to see it more in full, in, full, um, in full frame, your whole layout, and here you can get rid of the side um, panel here, so. So that's pretty much it. I think with the hand you can just go ahead and use your your uh, your mouse or your 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 pen. If you are a photographer and you don't have a tablet, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> so maybe I'll do one of that later. Um, so that's it. Um, well, now once this is all set, you are going to export. If there is a an error due to um, the, the the limitations and and the prerequisites of the company you selected, which is pretty great. I didn't know, for example, Miller's only allow me to do the thick page album up to twenty five spreads, which is totally lame, uh, in my opinion. Uh, most of my albums are like thirty spreads uh, or something like that. I try to. Uh, at least the ones I do my way. Um, so it, it told me, it told me, it told me that there was something wrong. If I wanted to continue and ignore that, that's one thing. Because what happens is once you export this, actually here, let's export it. Once you export, you can you have the option to export for print, and you can make some selections, all the spreads, where to drop it off, or you can export for proofing, uh, which. Uh, I didn't try it and I'm not really exactly sure how it works, but I assume it will just give you probably, I will do a PDF, I'm going to prove it, or spread 16, hmm. include image and files, include our mark, maybe I'll mess with that later and add it, but I mean you can just test it out and see what the difference between the proving and the, and the actual export for print, but I feel pretty confident usually when I export my files and I bring them in and I lay them out to just send them for print. Um, JPEGs are usually pretty great. Uh, it sets everything the way uh, the company needs it at the resolution, as long as your files are the right resolution. Otherwise, we saw when I imported those other things that it will tell you. So once you do that, then you will have this. It will give you the PDFs of the final layout. So, and these are the ones I did. So. Basically, I did this once in an hour plus, but like I said, there was a couple of times where I was missing a couple of images that I needed. Uh, I needed to invert an image that I couldn't do it in the software, and um, and it was pretty much the rest of it was kind of learning the software as I went along a little bit. But this the, the learning curve is really small, so <laughs> this is a fantastic piece of software. Uh, the only limitations is if you, for example, one of the main limitations I noticed is like if you tend to shoot heavier in landscape like, like I do and not so many portraits, then the amount of options that you have for, uh, for layout choices in, in, in different spreads uh, is limited more than I think if you have a good mix of uh, uh, landscapes and portraits. That's kind of what I noticed. I'm not 100% sure if I'm totally right about that, but uh, those are the things that I kind of picked up from the software uh, from using it the very first time. You can even change the quality here if you want to. So you have a lot of options on how to control the outcome of what you're exporting. So I didn't even mess with that. I just left it at the default and I uploaded it and and I think everything's good, good to go. So hopefully you enjoy this uh, this sort of piece of, of, of info and hopefully you will give it a run, man. It's, it's 30 days for free. Even if you if you have a bunch of albums that you need to catch up with and, and you need to do them all in the next few weeks and you don't want to spend the money on the software, download it, dude. Uh, download it, give it a run. I could almost guarantee that 
you will fall in love with it and you will go and spend the money. And I think that's what they're betting on with this 30 day trials with no watermarks and no bullshit. So, all right, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, thanks for coming back. Check out my website. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank mm -hmm. you.